Hi there, hey, if you're a rideshare driver, you know that driving a small fuel efficient car is gonna make you more money than driving a big gas guzzler. But recently, Lyft announced new vehicle requirements that excluded a lot of popular compact and subcompact models. So stick around because I'm gonna discuss which cars are excluded and why and how this will affect current owners of these cars. Hi there, hey, I'm Gabe Etzhoken, full-time rideshare driver and writer for the rideshareguy.com. I'm here with my buddy, Alan Lapp. Hey there. And we're gonna talk about Lyft's new vehicle requirements. So uh, where and when did the new rules come out? They came out uh, <laughs> just like a few months ago, a couple months, two, three months ago. Okay. And, uh, and Lyft uh, kind of quietly posted them on their on the Lyft website kind of buried amongst the the facts and other like rules and regulations of Lyft so no public announcement of the changes in they, rules they they may have I, I'm not really sure they they generally keep low key about stuff like this what vehicles can be used for Lyft well the stand the basic your basic Uber or Lyft vehicle is anything with four doors uh, but just about anything with four doors and five seat belts, you know, one for the driver and, and four passengers. Okay. And other than that, Patch, most... Patchbacks and... Yeah, I see people with... SUVs. I even see, like, uh, four-door, like, crew cab pickup trucks uh, people driving around. It's not a good idea. Yeah, yeah we, got, we got a ride in one of those in San Diego. I was really right? surprised. But, I mean, it's not a great idea, but you can do it. There's no mm -hmm. problem. And there's a lot of, you know, part-time drivers who that makes sense to do that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that that was that was the usual... That was that was how it was before, but but recently they they published this list of of uh, vehicles. It's actually, on the next sheet there, th that's right. that's the list. So it, it specifically oh. excludes, yeah. Oh, so like the BMW i3 and uh, the i3 EV and the and the uh, plug-in hybrid model of it, and the Chevy Aveo, the Aveo 5, the Metro, the Sonic. Sonic Hybrid, which I don't even know if that's a real car. The Spark EV, so stuff like that. Even though all those cars have four doors and five seat belts. The Daewoo Lanos. I don't know who has I, one yeah, of those. Never, I, I've seen them, I know what it is. Okay. Daewoo, don't they make TVs? I think that and like pianos and... <laughs> so does Yamaha. Then Tupperware or something. Yeah. Like um, yeah, and the Fit is oh, excluded. The Honda, the Hyundai Ford, Accent. Ford Fiesta and Fiesta Hybrid. Yeah, I don't even think there is a Fiesta Hybrid. Kia, Rio. Mm -hmm. That's the same looks as like, the... Like, looks like every possible permutation of the Rio. Right, right, right. Mazda 2, yeah. hybrids. Yeah. Virtually every single model ever sold. Yeah, and and of look, the mini. Yeah, and and we'll which put is, in a we'll is, put in we'll put in a link to this list so people can read it themselves. Yeah, which is which is ironic, you know. I mean, I'm almost six three. I'm like six two and a half. Yeah, and I fit great in a mini. Yeah, it's a it's a roomy car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a pretty this is a pretty long list. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, anyway. Prius, all the all the Priuses. No, not the Prius model. The the Prius C. So the compact oh, oh, oh. Prius. Yeah, they excluded that. That's a popular. That was a very popular choice for for rideshare when it came out. Does Does Uber have a list like this? No. Uh, the only The only vehicles that Uber excludes. They used to specifically exclude uh, Ford Crown Victorias, which, what? which as a former cabbie makes me sad. But um, but now they what, just exclude was... anything that was like formerly a f used for fleet use or former police vehicles, which is their way of saying no Crown Victorias. But um. Well, why? What's the, what's the rationale there? I mean, they want to punish ex cabbies. I don't know because they, yeah. o like old cab drivers are always finding these ratty old Crown Victorias. They don't want people to feel like they're in an old, like a beat up, smelly old taxi cab. So how does how does this affect premium services like like Lux or Lyft XL? Yeah, well, cl clearly none of these vehicles are Lux or XL vehicles. Um, so it probably isn't going to affect those at all. So if you're already driving for Lux or XL, I, I don't think this is good. Probably affect your business very much. Okay. Uh, so uh, what ex what vehicles are excluded and why? Oh well, we just we well, just read that we list. Did, we did read the right. List. We, we read the list, and um, uh, the reason uh, the reason they said they excluded them, you know, is that you know basically our passengers expect a certain level of comfort. Um, and we want to have the best possible customer experience is basically what they said, what Lyft said for their why. And actually I reached out to Lyft and, uh, uh, their, um, 
you know, one of their, uh, their spokes people, um, just kind of reiterated what was in the their spokes models spokesperson. No, uh, they just, he just kind of reiterated what was in the press release and that they would look into it. And also that Lyft is considering revising this Lyft list and kind of going through it. Um, because it kind of read like something, some intern was put on and he just kind of like copied and pasted a bunch of random vehicle models. Yeah. You were, you were saying earlier that it doesn't really make a lot of sense, no. these regulations because of, uh, if you just compare the, the interior cubic footage. Yeah. Which, which is easy to find online. You just go to yeah. the vehicle specifications and they have the, the different interior rooms, all these different vehicles. So like the Honda fit and that's kind of a, the Honda fit is kind of a, a little sore spot for me because my my nephew Jeremiah mm -hmm. look there's a there's a Prius seat oh yeah yeah sure enough. Uh, my nephew Jeremiah from from a different type of ride sharing right right that's a gig yeah yeah rental uh, yeah. but my my nephew Jeremiah um, he has a Honda Fit and his customers love it he says his passengers really like it it's very they they designed that fit to be like super spacious inside yeah and, yeah we have we have a neighbor that has two of them. And and it's, it's like, uh, can I can I make a dorky science fiction reference? Sure. Yeah, it's like it's like the TARDIS. It's bigger on the inside. <laughs> so. <laughs> that was so dorky. I didn't even get it. <laughs> well, like there's, a Honda, there's a Honda Fit, and but yeah. uh, the Honda Fit has about the same uh, interior interior room as a Mazda three. Um, and actually the Mazda 3, because it has these weird shaped rear doors, it's actually kind of hard for passengers to get in and out of that. So, you know, it just, that is, that's just one example of how, of how these rules seem kind of arbitrary and don't make much, much sense. Yeah. 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 So, um, so are the current drivers of these cars out of luck? No, they're okay. As long as, as long as, as Lyft has already approved this vehicle, you're grandfathered and they will let you keep it. Although I don't know if it'll pass vehicle inspection you know you have to get your vehicle inspected every year so who knows oh, if it'll I didn't know that. yeah yeah you do yeah under puc regulations in california i don't know other i think most places they want you to 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 inspect it every year so i don't know if they'll reallow it they, they probably will um but if it's puc and not lyft that's doing the inspection right oh it's not puc that does inspection QC only has like five employees. Like they don't have, they can't, you, you go to the vehicle, you go to the Lyft or the Uber driver center so, and they send a Lyfter or Uber guy out and, and they look at your car and inspect it. Right? Okay, so no, no conflict of interest there. So the, yeah, so, so the PUC has outsourced regulatory duties to the people, the, the, the Fox guard well, the hen house. Well, okay. it's just like uh, did, in, you're from Maryland. Didn't they have like an annual safety sticker requirement for your, for cars or, I know, like New York uh, no. does that. Well, no. New York and Pennsylvania do that, right? They, um, so you know, they, the, they shortly, shortly before we moved, they instated a uh, every two year yeah. vehicle yeah, emissions yeah. test, but not a safety. Inspection. Oh yeah, well, well other, but yeah, so that's the same thing. Like the DMV or the or the Air Resources Board doesn't inspect your car, you know, with one of their yeah, employees. yeah. So it's the same thing. Yeah, so they yeah. they outsource that to garages. So has anybody been banned from the platform because of these new rules? Not, well, kind of. Uh, we actually had one of our one of our readers, uh, another rideshare driver. Uh, he wrote in to tell us that he, he lives in Hawaii and he was and he was in the process of purchasing, like getting financed. Uh, you know, a, a small I think the the small the Hyundai Accent, the small mm -hmm. Hyundai model, and he went to the Lyft driver center and. Mm -hmm. Or he emailed Lyft, and they said it was, they said it would probably be okay, and he went and closed on the deal, and uh, and then when he went to try to uh, sign it up with Lyft, and he had already been driving with Lyft with a different car, um, they said no, sorry, you can't have it. So now he's stuck with this car, and he can't work. Hmm. So that that's at least one of these stories, and I'm sure there are more of those stories. And by the way, if you have a story like that to share, uh, please let us know in the comments, and uh, that that'll probably wrap us up. Unless you have any other any other questions or comments about about all this about all this mashugas now mashugas craziness um actually i was i was very curious about the uh about the banning stuff i mean that seems pretty pretty draconian i mean that's uh, well it's not it's not like you're driving one day oh, and then you're deactivated the oh i remember i remember what it was i was going to say doesn't lyft and uber or at least one of the ride sharing 
companies actually uh, arrange leases for cars or they they or did but now they, they they don't do that anymore they oh, they do have okay. partners they do have partners that they that they use so they oh. kind of like partner for like uh, for yeah for like monthly or month to month leasing oh, God. Yeah. okay um and yeah and and obviously those cars aren't going to be available yeah. those like uh lyft has express drive right and they, they do that all right so hey look if you have any questions or comments please don't hesitate to leave them below or send us an email uh we release new videos every single week so make sure you subscribe to our channel and give this video a thumbs up if you liked it what do you think al thumbs up <laughs> this has been gabe at token and alan lap for the rideshareguy.com and remember don't drive yourself crazy